Hi, this is how we make our frag racks here at Conway Corals. For this project, you will need to make feet for the racks. I use 3 quarter inch PVC end caps from Lowe's. They are cheap, easy to find, and work great. As you can see, we have also added some crushed coral to the cap. This serves two purposes. It weighs the racks down and keeps them at the bottom of the tank, as well as keeping a bunch of unwanted critters and organic material from getting into the feet of your frag racks. These are simple to make. Just crush coral, cover with PVC glue, let dry, and you're set. We also use lighting diffuser from Lowe's. Cost about twelve fifty a sheet and one will make around eight to twelve frag racks. It's always good to have extras around too. I recommend gel super glue for this just because it is the absolute easiest way to attach the feet. You can also use frag glue if you want. It works the same, just takes a bit longer to set. So, here we go. You can put a ring all the way around the rim of the feet, or to save glue, you can just put it on four places to match with where it will actually come in contact with the frag rack. You can see what I'm talking about here. Then you just place it on the rack. I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of these up real quick. And here's the rack after it dries. It could be as little as a minute depending on the type of super glue that you used. These racks are a really easy, cheap alternative to the manufactured versions. They work just as well and in some cases better because they fit more frag plug sizes. I recommend making a bunch of these and rotating them out of your frag tanks. This helps cut down on pests and nuisance algae by giving you a clean slate every time you change them. So, thanks for watching Conway Corals, how to make DIY frag racks. Please like, subscribe, and or comment. And as always, happy reefing.